You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay Bet with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Nukes Top Five. You up to bet? Bah. Tell me I hate the fucking go. Tell me I hate the It's your boy laid back welcome back to my channel hey two things we got to do you gotta hit that subscribe button i'm drinking this water you already know what it is man appreciate time appreciate life in 2021 make sure you hit the like button make sure you hit the notification bell stay up to date with all the videos we back with another nukes top five man this is five scary ghost videos you can't unsee now you already know what i need from you man i need you to drop with you in the chat let me know that you rocking with me man and you know salute to all the real ones out there man but let's go ahead and get it fire squad what's popping let's get it top five ghosts caught on camera mirror mirror this next video comes from chinese ghost hunter xiao long who i featured before Xiao Long and his fellow explorer drive three hours to an abandoned and allegedly haunted house in the middle of nowhere. Damn. The house is said to be the home of an evil spirit. Xiao Long and his friend are live streaming their entire investigation. The music got me Now I up. should mention again that in Chinese culture it is believed that swearing and acting angry is believed to ward off evil spirits that wish to do you harm. What? However, at first, Xiao Long's anger seems to spill over a bit onto his fellow explorer. The music, bro. Do you hear the music? Hey! What the fuck? Yo, you can't grab me like that. Bro. What the fuck? After an hour of exploring, the two ghost hunters really haven't encountered anything. So they decide to try a ghost summoning game that is similar to a Ouija board called Pin Chi. They don't really have much luck with the game, but very bizarre things start to happen. Go out there. And again, they go back to their game. But this is when things get truly bizarre. Hey, what's on you, man? Who? 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 This music is crazy. What? Did you see, Did you see it? it? No, I didn't. Watch the reflection of the game board behind them as Xiao Long goes to check out the noise at the window. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, 
While the ghost hunters are away from the board, the spoon can be seen spinning wildly, as if being pushed by some unseen force. But wait, we haven't even gotten to the most chilling event that the ghost hunters experience in their investigation of this abandoned haunted house. So, for some reason, all of the mirrors in this abandoned house seem to be covered, removed, or turned to face down. The explorers decide to take a good long look into one of the downturned mirrors. And it didn't go well. Maybe we shouldn't look. The unexplained creepy face of an old woman appears in the mirror, right between them. In abject horror, they pan the room, but there's no one there. Bro, I got chills all over my body right now. And with that final terrifying experience, they decide to just get out of there. You can watch Xiaolong's full live stream ghost hunts on his channel on a Chinese live streaming site. The link is in the video description. Whoa, bro. Meanwhile, on Reddit. Reddit user Charger3933 was touring the abandoned Eloise Psychiatric Hospital in Westland, Michigan. He says he thought he heard footsteps on the stairs, so he started recording. I did that on video unless somebody's with us. What? It sounded like somebody was coming down the stairs. So this one's a bit different, but I have to say, did you hear it? Charger 3933 catches what sounds like the soft voice of a woman singing and some odd unexplained screams from somewhere in the hospital. Now the voice is very low and there's a lot of background noise, but I'll try my best to enhance the audio. Charger 3933 says he couldn't hear the singing with his own ears. He only heard it when he played his footage back. 100% I did that on video unless somebody is with us. Reddit user Serpent95 says his girlfriend was walking home alone late one night when she noticed a friendly stray dog following her for several blocks. She thought it was cute, so she decided to send him a quick video. What the fuck? Later, when she reviewed the recording, she noticed this. Apparently someone or something else might have been following her home too. Bro, what the fuck? Now, this certainly could just be someone on the street. But if so, why are they dressed like this? <laughs> right. Posted by Reddit user A Major Malfunction, this video allegedly shows a shadow figure captured in the very haunted St. Augustine Lighthouse. Now, at first it looks just like a normally cast shadow, but 
then it passes through an open doorway. So there's not much backstory supplied here. So real shadow apparition or just CGI? You decide. I don't know about the that. The picture one. paints a thousand words. This shit. In a 100 year old house in the San Rafael Hills of Los Angeles, the current residents claim that their home is extremely haunted. John Metkowski and John Huckard say that since they moved into their house nearly 30 years ago, strange things have been happening. 30 years? It all years. started with a bathroom door that unexplainably just kept opening on its own. Man, what? On a whim, they started taking Polaroid instant pictures down the bathroom hallway whenever the door would open. So I shut the door again, and then when it started opening again, that's when I snapped it, and that's the picture with the scary face on it. First I thought it had to be a joke because it looks so much like the stereotypical, ooh, scary ghost. After several more strange incidents, including seeing what they described as, quote, shadow people, they decided to invite several people years. over for their own informal seance. 30 years. They attempted to talk to what they now believe to be a supernatural presence. They asked, are you here? And then took this picture. Bizarrely enough, a strange mist appeared in the photo. And even stranger, it seemed to answer their question. Are you here? They asked. The mist that appeared in their picture seemed to spell out, What? Yes. That just changed everything. It's one thing to get like weird light patterns and stuff like that. It's another to get like communication. And they continued to get more and more of these strange messages over the next 20 years. In this video from 1992, John Hucker demonstrates. We load it in. He loads his film. Okay, uh, right. Did you die in this house? Asks a question, and the response comes back. Oddly enough, in Latin. It looks like it says corpus delecti. Sounds like we need to get out the Latin dictionary. Corpus delecti. Corpus delicti, which translates to evidence of a crime, such as the body of a victim. Damn. Now, at first glance, this whole thing seems very easy to fake, right? They could have messed with the film as it developed, or maybe just put something in front of the lens. But here's where things get truly bizarre. Paranormal investigators, scientists, and even representatives from film companies have come to the house with their own film and their own cameras to try to debunk the claims of paranormal pictures. All of them caught similar eerie photos. Wow. The two Johns believe that the spirit that inhabits the house might be the victim of a crime, maybe even someone buried under the house itself. At this gathering, visitors were invited to use their own film and cameras. They all asked the same question. Are you buried in this house? Two separate unrelated participants got these two photos. Dig here. But it gets even stranger. What? Remember when I said that John Huckard claims that he's seen terrifying shadow people around their home? Something that I've seen a lot and a few other people have seen are these shadow people, I guess is what you call them, because they're like shadows, but they're in the middle of the room. At the end of this night, everyone present took a group photo. And this is what developed. Why? And amongst a group is another figure, but it's not a person. It's the shadow of a person, but there was nobody there. This dark figure appears right next to the house's owner, John Huckard. Even the non-believers present that night just couldn't explain it. I'm like, come on, how, how can people be falling for this? This is a simple parlor trick. It's got to be explainable. And you know what? I, I don't have an explanation for this. I didn't freak out. I think I just finally didn't have something to say or some way to, to uh, discount it. So do these two men actually live in a very haunted house? 30 or years? Is it all just a very elaborate hoax, one involving multiple witnesses. Either way, the two Johns certainly seem convinced. I'm not scared. I'm just in denial. <laughs> Blinders. It's hilarious. It's like driving the freeway. It's terrifying, but you know, you just keep going. Sight unseen. Nuke's top five viewer Zeus Lomibao from the Philippines says that he and his co-workers were working overnight at the local mall, decorating the interior for an event the next day. 
the mall is said to be haunted. So Zeus says he took every opportunity to film the dark empty halls, wondering if he might possibly catch some supernatural activity on camera. Well, he did. Joke lang. Immediately after he starts recording, Zeus captures some strange unexplained noise that almost sounds like an inhuman hiss. Zeus right. said that he only heard the bizarre sound when watching his video back later. Now, that was pretty much it. At least that's what Zeus said when he sent me this clip. But as I watched the rest of his video, I noticed something else. Zeus had caught something on camera that was even creepier. As the video continues, one of the guys claims he hears a door slamming somewhere in the mall. The guys seem to be lightheartedly trying to put a scare into their female friend. But as they approach the end of the hall, and just before Zeus stops filming, he captures this. Did you see it? Mm -mm. Some shadowy figure seems to be watching them from afar. So I emailed Zeus back and asked if there was anyone else in the building with them that night. Zeus was shocked. He said he hadn't even noticed the figure until I pointed it out. And no, there wasn't supposed to be anyone else in the building. Zeus says he has no idea who or what this figure might be. Privacy, please. Nuke's top five viewer, Reese Hogan, says that he and a coworker were changing the light bulbs in the restroom at his workplace when suddenly one of the toilets started flushing all on its own. He pulled out his phone and recorded something very strange. Oh my! <laughs> What's going on? I'm not is... happy about it though. Have you put them screws on? Yes, it's all in. Let's just go. Come on, I'm going. I just want to get it on camera again. Oh, I ain't hanging about here and there. You can hang about if you want. Oh God. Look, it's moved! Oh. Right, okay. Oh, what was that? No! Oh, we got scared as fuck. Well. Turn the lights off. <laughs> Look, it's moved. That hand. Quick! That handle is moving up by itself. I'm not even kidding. Not even joking. What? No. Reese says that at first he thought someone was just playing a joke on him. Maybe moving the handle from a crawl space behind the wall. But there is no crawl space. So there's no way someone could move the handle from behind this wall. But what do you think? Is it a ghost in need of some privacy? <laughs> or just a very strange plumbing problem? You decide. All right, so that was five scary ghost videos you can't unsee. They had a couple creepy ones in there, but that wasn't too, too scary. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm getting a little bit used to it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, the dudes that were staying in the crib for 30 years, how long is it going to take for you to move? I'm not staying in no haunted crib for 30 years, bro. That's just not what I'm doing, bro. Like, that's crazy. But uh, yeah, if you made it to the end, man, I need you to drop a real one in the chat, man. Shout out to the real ones, man. I appreciate y'all, man. But you already know, self-love and positivity. Till next time, Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey.